Fit like a bee, Danny Min here, and welcome back to another episode of Train Sim World 2. We're actually doing this in Train Sim World 3. It is a Train Sim World 2 route, but it's it's a lot easier in this uh, for some reason because the the layout for the routes and the missions etc is much better in the the beginning menu. So we're gonna continue from there. We've done all the scenarios, which is fine. And but we're going to drive this high-speed Intercity Express ICE service to Aachen from Kohl. Right, so let's unlock the doors. Everything should be good to go. I am assuming everything. Doors unlocked. Are they unlocked though? I kind of feel like they're not unlocked. Unlock doors. Do you want me to unlock doors from in here? Yeah, unlock doors. Okay, this is a bad start. No, I want... No, I want... Open left, close right. Or wait. Is my magical key... Not in. Reverse it forward. Uh, where is my magical key? There you go, now the doors are open. Okay, so I had to set some stuff up. Okay, now we're good though. Now stuff is happening. There you go, I could be a nice little screenshot of the train in the station there. There you go. Beautiful. Right, we're already late. Late-ish. <laughs> yeah, so I had to set the train reverser. Anything else I need to set up? There's normally... Nah, we're good. I think we're going to be fine. Possibly, maybe. So yeah, there's no, there's no hand holding in this. No instruction. Uh, one thing I am going to do right now is we're going to go into options, we're going to go into settings, and something that really, really infuriates me is controls HUD and gameplay. Stop markers. Off. I don't know why the hell it does that. Every time I restart the game, it switches them back on and it's it's upsetting. It really is upsetting. We've actually still got time here. Alright, let's go ahead and close them their doors. We can now basically leave. Once the doors are closed, I can leave. There we go. And we are off. Give me a bit of power. And we're away. Stop in location, Aachen HBF 1015. So it's given us 30 minutes to get there. We are slightly late though. So I have to be weary of that. I can hear a plane. There's the plane. Where are you going? You're a wee bit blurry when you pass certain things. Okay, let's jump on board. Alright, there we go. Stay I think it's 40. Uh, 39, 40. Now, I will proceed a little bit over the speed limit here, because I am, as I said, running slightly late. And this might get us the time back that we actually need. And you can hear the church bells as well, that's pretty cool. Right, we're about to pass into a 70 kilometer per hour, which is fine. But then it's going to come down to 60 as we enter Spaghetti Junction Hell here. Yeah, so basically just keep it at 60. Yeah, and then we're up to 80 fairly soon. There's a Talent 2 there. Is it waiting to get into the station or is it just parked up there for the, for the duration? Don't know. This will be a nice fast run for us here, which will be awesome. 
All right, here we go. Yeah, speed limit has come up. And we need all the time we can get here. As we said, we screwed up the start. I'm sure we'll be fine. Being on time is not a deal breaker for gaining things like gold medals, etc. Right, we're running quite tight against this wall here and then under the bridge. Yeah, I do like the way this is modeled here, it's pretty cool. Uh, one thing I've noticed is the other sort of short commuter train, not the Talent 2, the other one that we did videos on just recently, is not actually there. I couldn't find it, which was odd. I mean, I don't think there's much more to do in that train. I think it's just a really short route, but it'd be cool to maybe possibly run it again. Right, there we go, we're up to 140 now. Give me all the powers here. Just to get me up to 148. So here we go, we're starting to leave Colm now. I guess once we get past this little sort of out marker station here. We'll be good. Uh, is that we passed into the 160? Yeah, I feel like we did pass into the 160 there. And then in 1.2 kilometers, we're going to be up to 250, which is awesome. Uh, there are no safety systems switched on, or not that I'm aware of. I've not heard anything, so I think we're good. That's so a sort of state 160. I have been playing. A little bit fast and loose with the old speed limit here, but that's fine. Looking good. A weird sort of motion blur for the wheels there. I don't know why they don't just remove that. Because it looks terrible. Right, we're up to 250. Let's go. We now want all the speeds. I wonder where that track goes. Be interesting to find out. Yeah, there's a lot of like blurriness and weird stuff. <clears throat> Is there an actual option to switch off like motion blur? Let's uh, test that little theory. Uh, so it would be in controls HUD and gameplay. Display safety systems, blah, 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 blah. Or is it in advanced settings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be in here. View distance quality. Everything should be... Actually, everything should be on... Ultra. Effects quality. Off. High. Yeah, let's set that to high. Shadow quality, high. Texture quality should be ultra. All this was set to ultra in uh, Train Sim World 2... I don't know why it's gone awry here. Okay, let's apply that. And then return. Okay, the weird blurriness is still there. But if we move away from the train... Go to two, maybe? Uh, it's still there, but it's just as it sort of passes under things, there's like a visual glitch. But yeah, I don't know why that the settings had sort of screwed themselves over there, it was kind of weird. We are getting up to 250 though, we're going to blitz through this 50 keys in no time at all, which will be nice. Uh, dynamic weather is on, it's probably one of the better things about running this in Train Sim World 3 also, is that instead of just choosing weather, when you first start a mission, you can have dynamic weather so that the weather can the weather, weather variation can change as you're running the route. Alright, we shall continue on. Here we are, almost up to 250. Now there's a 1% incline here. 
which is quite interesting. Yeah, okay, I just need it to tip over a 250, please. There we go. That's fine. And we are off. Absolutely flying. Ridiculous speeds down this main line here. It actually looks nice running this in the daytime uh, without any sort of adverse weather effects because that's what most of the scenarios do. It's basically just take the train on a normal route but it gives you some uh, hellish weather, either snow or heavy rain to contend with. But it's nice just to take it out on a normal day. It's not too sunny. It's not too cloudy and dark. Perfect. Yeah, now I am speeding a bit, but this should gain me back the time I, I sort of need. Yeah, keep it on three there. We are going downhill. No sign of any other traffic. I did see that talent too, just hanging out in the depot. Yeah, we've got 15 points for driving over a speed limit. <laughs> yeah, the rewards are real. Oh, yeah, we, there's nothing on the line here. We're just sort of flying through. Which is ace. I mean, I wonder what it would actually look like. If we were just sitting at one of those platforms... It's kind of blurry as hell there. It's okay, I've got my really nice screenshot. Yeah, give me a little bit more speed. We're going uphill. Bump it up to three. And now we're with 45 kilometers to go. And hopefully, we can cover that 44 before it gets to 10.15. So half an hour from Colm to Aachen was a pretty decent time, actually. <laughs> you can see why people in Germany use their high-speed trains a lot. It's way better than driving. What would that be? Just under an hour in a car or something? So yeah, half an hour is nothing really. And then when you're there, I suppose if you stayed in Colm and you went to work in Aachen, or if you worked in Aachen and you went to stay in Colm, uh, and worked in Colm, it'd be great to jump in a taxi or a bus to where you work. Rather than driving there, having to deal with the rush hour traffic once you get there, rush hour traffic once you're leaving and go home, uh, finding parking spaces, driving through the city, etc. Yeah, I could imagine this is a much better experience. Okay, we are losing a bit of speed here, and you need to keep the speed. Give me full power there, please, Chief. Now there is, or possibly could be, a slowdown section as we hit Stolberg or uh, Duren. I'm not sure how that's going to work. But we'll keep an eye out for it. If it does rear its head. Hang on, look at this thing. It's ace. Just absolutely gunning it through the... What? Wow, was a really weird bridge. That's one straight out of transport fever there. <laughs> Anywho... Continuing on, things are looking good ish. Yeah, I love it. I love these run and gun scenarios. There there's a talent two hello there. Talent two. So wait, why are you not in those lines? Or are those freight specific lines? Someone from Germany can leave me a comment in the comments below. That's assuming any from, from anyone from Germany watches this content. Because 
Germans have a very good understanding of English. English is a super easy language to learn. But will they understand my broken English? I.e. Scottish. <laughs> It's funny, there was a, someone left a comment as well, <clears throat> years ago, saying that they, they didn't understand my English. And I was like, ah, that's unfortunate, because I'm not actually speaking English, I'm speaking Scottish, which is almost, depending on where you live in Scotland, is a completely different language. So, oh yeah, there we go, there was a massive reduction and speed there. Should be okay though. Yeah, on the brakes. That was interesting. That's because I wasn't paying attention there. Yeah, but we are at the area in this hellish part where we have to slow down. So yeah, we blasted that speed limit there, absolutely annihilated it. Right, start slowing down again, because you need to get down to 160. Is it this area? No, I don't think it is. I think there's another area further up. But we're all good. We're at 160. There you go. Right, no speed, no sign of any speed limit change back up to two, two fifty for a while. I guess that's okay. There's another ICE. He's probably thinking, "Whoa, you're way far ahead of where you should be." I was like, "Yeah, it's because I absolutely obliterated that one, uh, that two hundred kilometer speed limit." <laughs> I'm sure the train could go through here at two fifty. Oh wait, maybe. Maybe not on this, uh, this curve right here. It's slightly longer than steeper than anything else <laughs> that's on the high speed section. I think we should try this for science. Science is great, you know? <laughs> science is fun. But yeah, I could reckon. I reckon you could do this in. I don't know, twenty-five, twenty minutes. Shave ten minutes off the time. There you go. Deutsche Bahn Railway. Uh, all you need to do is upgrade your track here, and uh, you can cut the commute time off by ten minutes. There you go. That's a free idea for you guys. I don't wanna I, I won't take credit. You don't have to pay for it. It's just a free idea floating out there on the internet. <laughs> Upgrade this section of track. There you go. So you could definitely be doing two hundred and fifty down here. And I maintain you can do two hundred and fifty for all of it. I think it does open up again, possibly. I mean, we've got 50 minutes to travel 23 kilometers. Is that even possible at this current speed limit? So yeah, doing this in the Talent 2 takes ages. Takes about an hour. <laughs> doing this in this. The ICE is way better. And we can do things like... We can do this scenario and do things like take a, an ICE-1, etc. down here. Which we might actually do for the next one. Because I think you can do that. I think you can change up... Change up the train...
Right, so we are speeding just a touch. That's fine. I'm happy to leave it <coughs> at 161 or 162, whatever it sort of ticks over to. I want to get there early, if possible. On time, great, early, even better. Right, we're passing through this dead zone. As I say, there's a gentleman standing there, but I think it's a ticket booth or something. Right, we'll slide coast. Okay, you maybe could not pass that section there at 250. At. Might be slightly dangerous. Yeah, we're going downhill. And that's why we're picking up speed. It's fine though. 18 kilometers to go, no sign of any speed limit change. But I am near certain. This thing is so quiet as well. <laughs> I am near certain that you there's a there's a fast section just as you get to the to the Aachen side. There might not be. Right, throttle off. Give me a little touch of brakes. Yeah, this thing is just running an auto on autopilot. No power is required. A little bit of power might be required now because we're starting to get a bit of an incline. But that's fine. It might actually be the case that we have to run this all the way to this speed. Because there's only 15 kilometers left and I still have 12 minutes to get there. There's a little bit of overgrown weeds and things. I like this. The old abandoned disused station. That's cool. Yeah, there's a sort of... See this here? That's like a reflection. <clears throat> Which is super realistic. But it's kind of annoying. There we go. We'll get a proper for, uh, first person POV here. Right, slow down a touch. You are speeding just a little bit. Oh, I should have sounded my horn there because there was a crossing. Right. Speed limit has come down. We should technically be braking. Uh, zoom back out. Yeah, you definitely couldn't do the section at 250. That'd be pretty suicidal. Braked a little too much there. It's all good. Through the tunnel here. And then 1.6 kilometers. We're coming down to 110. That's quite a while away, so we're actually okay. We'll keep it at 120 for a while. I saw a crane over there. Just a random crane out in the middle of nowhere. Right, so we're approaching that 110 section. Add a little bit of brakes. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's fine. There we go, into the 110 section. Yeah, this is the bit I thought you had to slow down for. Wait, is there not normally a station here? Or is it further up? Yeah, it's further up. No freight trains or anything? Just hiding in there? Pretty dead, the railways today. 
Well, I have seen two trains. Right, round we go now. I think this is Stolberg. Yeah, so it makes sense that we have we'd have to slow down there. And then we're going to be up to 140. Which is nice. And it's going to take a minute for the back of the train to get past there. But there it is. It's past now. And we are on our merry way once more. Right. 8.5 kilometers to go. Just under 10 minutes to get there. It's easier said than done, considering I'm stuck at this 40 kilometers per hour speed limit. Even though I have been playing fast and loose with the speed limit. Uh, what's going on there? It's a section of unjoined track. Okay, it's kind of weird. Hello, car. I think you're the first car I've actually seen today. <laughs> Not in Train Sim World 2 entirely. Uh, yeah, I'm happy to be speeding a bit. It's fine, it's all good. Wait, do I have horn high and horn low? I think I do. Wait, yeah, it's one of the things I hate. One of the, yeah, it's one of the things I hate about using the, the old controller there is you can't do the sort of you can't do the sort of low high. Right, so bring the speed down. We're going to be coming down to 120 fairly sharpish. There's 4.6 kilometers to go. Could just possibly let our coast from here on in. We've got a nice little journey there. No dramas, no issues. A couple of minor speeding infractions. Well, a couple of mine are severe speeding infractions, but apart from that, we're all good. <coughs> now, all you need to do is not blow past the signal at the end here. That'd be stupid. Now start bringing that down to 120. Yeah, I think we come down to 120, then we come down to something else. So, just slide coast and get ready on the brakes. Yeah, down to 100. No, that's fine. 1.8 kilometers to go. Five minutes to get there. I'm actually nervous. This will, the speed limit will drop again. So you have to do like the one, the last one and a half kilometers. I'd like a crawl, basically. You have to crawl in Aachen Station. Yeah, 1.2 kilometers to go. I don't think I'm going to get there on time. Give me a little bit of power, keep it at like 71. Yeah, and then down to 48. Uh, wait, next signal. There's a signal at danger. Oh, we've, we've got a beware uh, that next signal might be something adverse. Basically, I 
Now it was near perfect getting the speed down there. There you go, little Talent 2 hanging out there at Aachen Station. Yeah, I think we're actually going to be fine. As long as I don't blow past this red signal at the end of the station, at the end of the platform, it should be fine. It is basically right on. Right. I was going to throw caution to the wind here and just rock up at it fairly quickly. I don't want to do that. I don't see the red. Perfect, right, it will actually take that. Unlock the doors. Look at that. Awesome. It's a nice, uneventful run. That's what you need from train sim now and again. None of this sort of hectic system failures and crazy weather, etc. <clears throat> or incidents involving traffic, which means you have to sit in sidings all the time or go down different routes. It's the nice run from point A to point B. I'd love it if they could totally flesh out this whole German network. That would be really cool. Like if we could link Köln or Aachen to uh, Kassel and what's the other place? Can't remember. I mean, if that was something that they could possibly do, that'd be really cool. Right, we're basically good there. Lock up the doors. And my train is on time, so it should basically hold me here until... If we were continuing on, it would have held me there. Time taking 30 minutes and 14 seconds. The Brussels Midi. Did I only get a bronze there? I suppose that's kind of deserved. I did speed quite a lot. Yeah, speed in there. Speed in there. <laughs> yep. Is that the only two places though? Nah, surely that's better than a bronze. Uh, yeah, I am going to continue that. But I want to go back to the main menu. Yeah, so we're entering Sim World 3 here, as you can see. Uh, choose a route. Yeah, 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 yeah. Last played is that. Now these scenarios are all done, but for some reason the Aachen turnaround is not updated. Which is odd, don't ask me why. The timetable, last played. Yes, we did that one and we only got a bronze. So these are basically just back and forths. Uh, I'm actually in the wrong thing. Yeah, we've got dynamic weather. Custom weather, dynamic weather. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but what I need to check is not in here. It should be in rail journeys. So, yeah. Oh no, they've got Schnalfestreck, Kessel of Wurzburg, Kolmachen. Yeah, so if we could join these up somehow, that'd be really cool. Yeah, we were on a high speed connection. And then we did this. So we've got a bronze there. That's pretty crap, actually. Uh, so we needed 5,250, right, I was, I was pretty close from getting an AP score of at least a silver. I think me messing around with the speed limit sort of screwed that up. Now this one is basically, this next one, is basically the same route but just backwards. And again we'll give it a bit of dynamic weather, etc. That'll be fine. Uh, and the Brussels media is basically the same thing again. But it's on the 1st of February, so it might be slightly colder. But yeah, we'll leave it there for that episode. As always, if you did watch this and you would like to leave a like, comment, or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there's more you'd like to see in the future, then hit the subscribe button. But I've been Danny Men. This has been Train Sim World 2 slash 3. And I will catch you later.